सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन ऑन ड्रायर्स वेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वर्ल्ड वाइड यूज ड्रायर्स दैट इज ट्रे ड्रायर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रे ड्रायर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ट्रे ड्रायर देन मूविंग ऑन विथ द वर्किंग ऑफ ट्रे ड्रायर एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रे ड्रायर्स so now let's begin our discussion with working principle of tray dryer the tray dryer works on the principle of forced convection here hot air is continuously circulated over the wet material that needs to be dried when hot air passes over the wet surface water is vaporized and removed from the outlet the flow of fresh hot air and moist air removal are counter current in nature that is the flow is in parallel manner so here concluding the working principle it tells that it works on the principle of forced convection nextly now moving on with the construction of tray dryer a typical batch tray dryer is shown in the figure here let us understand the various part of tray dryer and know its function we have used here different alphabets to demonstrate every part of it In the main rectangular unit there is a metal sheet that contains two trucks that supports the racks which is shown here with the alphabet h then each rack consists of shallow trays which has a measurement of around 750 mm that is 30 inch square and 50 to 150 mm that is around 2 to 6 inch depth of the tray the material which is to be dried is loaded in this trays then hot air is circulated at the rate of around 2 to 5 meter per second between the trays by the fan the fan is denoted by a letter c here and motor d means the with the help of motor and fan hot air is circulated at a rate of around 2 to 5 meter per second then the hot air passes over the heaters which is denoted by letter e in the figure see here that the baffles g that are provided to distribute the air uniformly over the trays the hot air takes away the moisture along with heat and continuously went off through the duct b which is provided at the top and fresh air make up is done through the inlet which is denoted by letter a the racks are mounted on the truck wheels so that after drying cycle is completed they can be easily removed from the chamber and taken to tray dumping station so i hope that construction of tray dryer is clear to you now moving with the working of tray dryer i think that uh, while discussing about the construction of tray dryer the working was also discussed but let us also brief it out in this section so in the working of tray dryer firstly the trays are filled with wet material that has to be dried while loading the tray with material we have to be very careful we should not overload the tray the fan and heat source are started air enters the chamber through the mesh that is on the top of the fan and gets heated through the heating source simultaneously the hot air is circulated over the trays containing wet solid due to which the moisture gets evaporated then the hot air with little moisture with high velocity passes over the solid in the first pass hence the air can be used for recirculation the vapors are removed along with the exhaust air and the dryer is allowed to cool after the dry material is taken out so this was about the working of tray dryers furthermore we will be discussing about the advantages and disadvantages of tray dryer let's start our discussion with advantages of tray dryer a tray dryer is a device that uses hot air to dry material placed on the trays right some of the benefits of tray dryer are listed below from which first is that you don't have to worry about losing any material which you put it in or out of the dryer it will be secured there no loss of material will be carried out then you can easily move the material around with the trays then the next advantage is that you can also dry different batches of material at different times you don't need to have experts to operate the dryers it is very simple in operation 
Another advantage is that you can save money and resources by drying valuable material. And the last advantage is that the dryer is simple to build and to maintain, means maintenance of dryer is also easy. So these were some of the pros of tray dryer. Now discussing about the cons or the disadvantages of tray dryers. A tray dryer also has some drawbacks such as you need to pay more to the workers to load and unload the dryers because it involves human interaction to load and unload the trays. It also takes a long time to dry the material completely. One more disadvantage is that it can damage or spoil the product that are sensitive to heat or oxygen. So these were advantages and disadvantages of tray dryer. Lastly for this video we will be looking towards the application of tray dryer. A tray dryer can be used for drying, sticky material, paste and granular materials. One of its application is that it is used in pharmaceutical sectors where it is used to dry crude drugs, powders and tablet granules. Some of the modified tray dryers are vacuum tray dryer which is used to dry vitamins and other heat sensitive material. So the tray dryer has a wide applicability in the industrial zone. So guys that's all for this video where in this video of tray dryers we discussed about working principle, construction, working then advantages and disadvantages, application of tray dryers. I hope that you like this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content related to process engineering, chemical engineering, chemical safety and industrial safety. As always, feel very free to leave any questions or comment down below. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in next video.